paradigm shift. An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's, it's an, an idea. idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A certain Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, two egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be to the, the fullest. fullest. Hello everybody and welcome to yet another edition of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. Um... I intend for this episode to be rather brief because, well, as brief as I can make it anyway, because I don't want to spend too much time pointing out what I feel should be blatantly obvious. And I'm going to go into screen share mode for this because, yeah, this this is kind of like the the poster child for my point here. Um, people always like to say, oh, you know, the reason we failed to learn the mistakes of human history is just because, hey, you know, it's human nature. We're just barbaric and brutal. Or, oh, it's fate or it's God and the devil or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I made this poster saying, left-right dichotomy, dogmatic thinking in politics, religion, or anything whatsoever, historically and with zero exceptions, will always lead to tyranny no matter how much we virtue signal sweet lives of denial to ourselves. And I put down here the same thing that I have in the description for this video. We have always failed to learn the lessons of history. Let's do things differently this time. It is our choice. Saying it's fate or human nature is nothing more than a cowardly, pathetic cop-out. And it is. And that is so easily proven. First of all, if you look at science, if you really look at biology and neurology and how the brain actually functions, I mean, look at the biochemical, electrochemical, human machine called the body, okay? When the baby gets popped out of the womb, what's its default freaking operating system here, people? It's real, real simple. Same thing as every other animal. Now, I'm not saying that in, in an atheistic way. I'm not denying consciousness or the soul or whatever. I'm just saying that on the biological level, yes, we're as animals as any other animals, and it's a biological computer. So what's the default operating system? The default operating system is survival. How does it survive? Through brutality and barbarism? No. It survives through adaptation to the surrounding environment. If the surrounding environment was benevolent, then failure to adapt to benevolence would mean failure to survive, and it would mean death. Um, humanity's been caught up in a malevolent environment, and now that humans are advanced enough that we are no longer subject to our environment, that we can literally change it and mold it, you know, for fuck's sakes, we've got houses and skyscrapers and jet planes and rockets and all manner of ways that we have completely changed the landscape of our environment by sheer force of will. We are now at the point where we can adapt by literally changing the environment itself. We can make the choice to not do the same stupid, silly shit over and over and over. Because to say, oh, well, you know, it's just fate, it's just human nature, blah, 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 blah. That's the same thing as saying, well, you know, my daddy was mugged by a robber. 
So that means when I grow up, I need to become a robber and mug other people's daddies because that's just the way it is. That's just human nature. That's just fate. No, that is a cowardly cop-out that we tell ourselves to justify our own fucking bullshit. That's all it is. It's denial. It's self-deception. It's refusal to grow a fucking backbone. It's refusal to take personal responsive fucking ability. And that is what we see in both religion and politics. Hardcore at this time. It is not about Christians versus Muslims. It is not about Hillary versus Trump. It is not left versus right. It is not any of that. It's simply called Wake the fuck up. Humans have been idiots. We've been self-destructive fucking idiots. We are like the alcoholic being pulled into an intervention, having it thrown in our face that, yeah, we have a problem. And the only way to solve the problem is to admit that we have the problem and to stop psychologically projecting it. Like the alcoholic or the drug addict who says, no, no, I don't have a problem. I, I can quit at any time. You guys are all just, just, just bullying me. You guys, you white people, you black people, you people of privilege, you Christians, you Muslims, you, you, you misogynistic men, you SJW feminists, you blah, 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 blah. it's all crap. It's all brain cancer. It's all self-induced fucking brain cancer. The free will choice to be absolutely cucked absolutely bent over and made the bitch of your own mental malware. I, I'm just, I'm putting it out there bluntly. I mean, you know, trying to be polite usually doesn't work because if you're polite and someone is going to insist on, you know, perceiving you as the bad guy, you're just going to come off as patronizing and condescending anyway. You're, you know, you're going to, Gonna, gonna come off with that that sweet patronizing tone as if uh, as if you're talking down to people while trying to virtue signal and pretend that you're not it's gonna gonna basically you know look as if you're trying to you know to to hide your arrogance or something so it's like it, I'd rather just be honest I mean I think being honest is the most polite thing to do. I mean, I personally think it's rude if someone's going to, you know, try to lie to my face in the name of politeness, in the name of conforming to trends. So, yeah, I'm not going to pay anybody that insult. I'm just going to be blunt and be like, look, this is humanity's problem. You know, this is one of those videos where it's my own little version of a freaking intervention here. Um, now, just to make one last thing clear before I close out on this, because, again, I don't intend on spending a ton of time pointing out the blatantly obvious that hides in plain sight. Um, people, I get this all the time, people are like, well, if you know you can't convince anybody of anything, especially if someone's got their mind made up, and uh, you can only inspire the willing, and you can't con convince nobody of nothing... Dave, why do you waste your time? You know, you're just wasting your time making these videos. Such a waste of time. Why do you waste your time? Well, I'm not wasting my time. It's a simple matter of we haven't mastered mental telepathy yet, and therefore like-minded people can only know I exist if I speak up and make myself known. Um... If you're not like-minded, you're you're not my audience. I'm not talking to you, and you are wasting your time if you watch this video. Because if you've already got your mind made up and you want to remain, you know, stuck in your bullshit, then this isn't for you. It's like, what are you doing subscribing to this channel? If you're sitting there like, wow, this guy's crazy. This guy's talking nonsense. He's full of shit. Why am I wasting my time? Exactly. Why are you wasting your time? I don't feel that it's a waste of my time because... There are like-minded people out there that when they see videos like this, they're like, hey, I'm actually not hopeless and lost and alone. There's people who actually feel the same way I do about the global fucking landscape. Holy shit, I thought I was the only one. Well, no, if you're saying that, you're not the only one. There's plenty of us out there. It's just that when we speak up, 
there's going to be more non-like-minded people than that hear us than like-minded. Um, you know, hey, those people have the right to their opinions as much as anybody. I mean, you know, somebody wants to comment, you know, oh, hey, Dave, you're a fucking nutcase and you're stupid and you're wasting your fucking time and da 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 da. Okay, fine. You know, that's that's their right to their opinion. That's cool. That doesn't make them a bad, terrible, horrible human being or anything. Um, if freedom isn't the right for people to say what we don't like and what we don't want to hear, then what the hell is freedom anyway? So. Yeah, I, I, I definitely respect their honesty. I mean, I'd rather have someone who doesn't like me, you know, come up and say, hey, Dave, you're a fucking stupid idiot and you talk nonsense and fuck you and I don't like you, rather than someone like that pretending that they like me in order to conform to some political correctness trend like, oh, I have to be nice to the crazy dumb motherfucker, otherwise I'm a horrible person. And then it just like rages against their soul so much that they just hit like a boiling point. And they're like, you know what, Dave? Fuck politeness. You're a goddamn idiot and you should go die. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's better that people just be honest and, and upfront, you know, from the get-go. That is polite to me. That is, that is authenticity. Um, that is definitely the better way to me. So, yeah, um, whether you want to admit it or not, all this is, is a choice. You can be the poster child for Einstein's definition of in insanity, which is doing the same stupid shit over and over and over. Well, always expecting a different result each time. But that wasn't real communism. All those people died, so that wasn't real communism. We need to try real communism because that's going to work. Oh, Hitler wasn't doing real fascism. We got to try real fascism because what Hitler did wasn't real fascism. Oh, those Mayans, they didn't really sacrifice people in their vicious blood sacrifices because their sacrifices didn't uh, bring rain. So they weren't real sacrifices. Yeah, we need to, like, stop bullshitting ourselves here. And that's just my opinion. You all think whatever you want, but that's just where I stand on the subject. So if you want to believe in that by human nature we're savages or that it's it's fate that we're all possessed by the devil and and the world's going to hell in a handbag and that's the we just have to accept that well then that's your dysfunction and you are literally going to destroy yourself with that cancer literally like it's going to affect your health it's going to affect your emotions it's going to help your it's going to affect your state of being it's going to affect how you interact with the world you're probably going to end up winning a massive fucking darwin award and eliminating yourself from the gene pool and if that's what you want to do cool you go do that that's your right to free will choice but for the rest of us that don't want to commit suicide and who actually want to bring in a better world just know that we do actually have a choice change yourself and when enough people are changing themselves, the world will change by default. So no more excuses, no more cowardly cop-outs. Um, the world is hitting its breaking point of insane, stupid bullshit. So that is our intervention. That is the big red warning light saying we need to change course. So let's change course. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Chatelet to the haters. And see ya.